Ciao, HSTV fans. Prepare for layer and layer of flavor. We're making spinach and ricotta lasagna. It is so decadent and rich, but it's also really easy to make, especially when you shop for the ingredients and tools that I use as you watch the episode. I'm Fabio Viviani. Join me in my home where I'll show you how to cook the exact Italian food my family makes back home in Florence, Italia. On my new show, Chin Chin to Italia. Spinach and ricotta lasagna. It's a bit different from the classic either the ravioli or the cannelloni. You have to layer the pasta with the sauce and the creamy Alfredo, which by the way is also from the Gustare Vita brand. I love Alfredo sauce. If you look at it, it's creamy, it's cheesy, all right? So the first things you have to do when you have dry pasta is to get a pot of boiling water, salted boiling water. And then by using the pasta, I'm gonna cook three, four sheets at a time so you have enough for all the layers as you layer the pasta. And you're probably gonna end up needing 12, maybe 15 layers, depend also how thick you wanna do it, right? So the first four goes in, and we're gonna let that cook there. Nice live boil. And then what we do, we have the few ingredients here and we start to mix them. We have some creamy ricotta. We have some chopped spinach. Now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little extra kick to it. I'm gonna add some sun-dried tomato. Pomodori secchi, guys, listen up. Drop one. My dog is gonna love it. My dog loves tomato. Although tomato is not great for dogs, my dogs love it. It's an Italian dog. <laughs> no, it's not an Italian dog. It's a French bulldog, but it's Italian by adoption. So clearly he likes tomatoes. And I'm gonna add some pomodori secchi to the mix, because why not? I can. At the end of the day, we are on HSTV show, but it's my show, I'm the chef, I get to do whatever I want. So pomodori secchi goes into traditional spinach and ricotta filling, all right? So now, pinch of salt, very important. Pinch of pepper, as important. Little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg, especially if you're American, nutmeg, you'll recognize the flavor of nutmeg because of the eggnog. Sweet. Mixing the pasta now. There. Pasta is cooking. All right, then we're gonna add some egg yolk. A bunch of egg yolk to it to keep the filling together. Yo, let's go. Come on, let's go. Good. Egg yolk, they're stubborn. They never want to get out of there. There you go. There. And last but not least, God's currency. Grated cheese. In this case, beautiful Parmesan cheese. Into the mix. All right? And we have that. Now what do we do? We mix it together. Look. Get a spoon. Mix everything together. And although I want you to mix it, I don't want you to mix it too much see all the ingredients together. This doesn't have to be a green mushed color puree. You wanna see the, the tomato, you wanna see the spinach, you wanna see all that, all right? So now let's look at the pasta here and let's see how we're doing with that. As a couple of more minutes there for the first layer. So now in the meantime that we're waiting for the pasta, Let's get some building going here. We're gonna make the extra two hour Alfredo sauce. A little bit of nutmeg in it. Little bit more cheese in it, because why not? There. Now we mix it. I suggest to have your Alfredo sauce warm when you build the lasagna. A little bit on the bottom there. Look at that. Like my mom used to do. Look at that. Smack the things around. So we have the lasagna sheet. So now what we do, we start to layer these. And if it does overlap a little bit, it is completely fine. There. 
there and there, all right? So as you see now, I have covered the bottom of it. Now what do we do? <laughs> now is the fun part. We're gonna add the mix and uh, you're gonna try, hopefully successfully, to spread the mix by flattening it, by flat, flattening, flattening, and then, that is an impossible word to say if you are Italian. You flat these things with a spoon. So get the spoon in it and try to feel the edges. It is not liquid, so you have to apply a little pressure like this. See that? Then what I do to make it even more creamy, get one ladle full. This is a two ounce ladle and just kind of drop the sauce a little bit like this. Look at that. To make it even more creamy, look at this. See the pasta here. And by the way, just so we're all on the same page, if some of the sheets break as they cook, that is completely normal. Doesn't matter who you are, you could be like a home chef, you could be like a grandma or a world-class, extremely good-looking Italian chef, and, and you're still gonna break some pasta in the water. There's no way around it, right? The first layer is done, the bottom is done with the Alfredo. By the way, shall we just, shall, shall we glazing over completely the fact that, look how good this is. Look, look at this thing. Now, look, the second layer, it's easier than the first. You go fishing for pasta, and now you put it here, like that. And you fish for the second, and you put it here, like that. Then you keep fishing. Look at that. Put it there. The layer is there. Now we're gonna do one more layer. Look at that, see? Smack it down, perfect. Second layer done. Guess what, more Alfredo! Put a little bit extra here. So let's wait two more minutes for the lasagna, and then we're gonna be done with it. By the way, great tomato sauce. Good stuff. Smells very good. So now we get the tomato sauce here. The pasta is ready. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna layer it. And there. So now, the last layer is kind of the good looking layer. What I mean by that, everything in between is forgiven. Because what if you put a little too much filling, a little too less, if you don't spread it enough, it's okay. The last layer though is the one that matters because it's the one that everybody sees it. Because it's not a layer, it's a roof at this point, right? So here's what you do. On the last layer, you gotta put a little texture here. Look at that. See, I didn't flat these things too much. I left a little texture there. So now what do we do? We're gonna get the Alfredo sauce and we're gonna plop some in the cracks between the spinach, look at that. Now the tomato sauce right from the bottle. Here's how you do it. You see I'm purposely trying to avoid the white and here's what you do now. You get the spoon and you kind of fill in like this. You move these around a little bit, like that. See that? Didn't completely mix it. Then you get the, you get the, what's the name of that? Cheese, you get the cheese, and then you put it on top. Sometimes you have a brain that freeze that for make you forget about the name of cheese. Look at that, extremely good looking dish, by the way. Like, gloriously good looking. In the oven. 350 degrees until it's ready. There you go, Fabio, again with this thing, until it's ready. What do you mean, until it's ready? Can you give us timing? I don't know. It doesn't matter. So, let's settle the how long should I keep it in the oven debate. If you have a brand new oven, like a world-class chef, you probably only need 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees. If you have an oven that is a little bit older, you might need to keep it for 20 minutes. The emphasis, it's not on the time, 
the emphasis is 350 degrees perceived, and then the top is gonna be nice and bubbly and brown. And shut the oven off, let it cool in the oven for a few minutes, and you're good to go. In it, for the win. Now, get yourself a glass of wine. In this case, I'm drinking a little decoy Chardonnay. Fancy glass too, wow, that's a nice glass, look at that. Good minerality, now the dish is rich, Alfredo sauce, cheese, ricotta, egg yolk, it's a lot of fat there. So the reality is that you need something a little buttery with a good minerality to cut it through. Chin chin. Be right back, as soon as that is ready. All right guys, bubbly, hot, absolutely outstanding looking just look at it this makes me so happy and even happier to see it done once i'm able to actually dig into it the only big issue with this kind of preparation is that it comes out lava hot and unless you have an apartment down in purgatory there is no chance you're used to this kind of heat the problem is that i really really want to dig into this can I rip it? Oh yeah. Look at that. It's hot. And I'm an idiot. I'm a full on idiot. I know this is hot. I know it. I do it every time. And every time I burn myself. But I can't wait. Look at this. Oh. Hot. Eggs are very hot. <laughs> even that little, even that little tiny piece. It is so incredibly hot. All right, listen up. We're done with this episode. I gotta dig in. Let's go. Chin chin to Italian. It is very good looking. Like it's actually a very good looking dish. Hey guys, do you know that as you watch these, you can click and shop for product and tools.